kitchen, we are going to make Memphis dialed ribs. And ribs are one of those staple proteins that are cooked in the summer. Not only are we cooking them, we're going to grill them. And what else are we going to do with them? Smoke them. Smoke them and smoking them will give them a whole other flavor that you're just gonna love on top of the seasoning, the rubs that we're doing today. And this is a recipe that I used to compete against Grandpa Luke in one time. We took some ribs over to Aunt Sue's house for Sunday dinner and had each person try one of them and see which one was better. Did you both win? But yes, you're right, Maria. We both kind of won. No one really said which was better, so they must have both been pretty good. So we're going to share with you today our recipe for Memphis-style ribs. Here we go. that comes off of the pig and these are a little bit more lean and more tender so that's what we're using now I want to show you one thing Maria now this is the rib and we're gonna just flip this over okay Ew. <laughs> and on the back of it it's called a membrane or a silver skin and we need to take that off because it is actually really tough Maria and it won't let our rub kind of penetrate into the skin. So I'm gonna just take in my knife and just kind of get it started without cutting myself here. All right, so I've kind of gotten it started. You see that, Maria? Now you can just take like a paper towel or something and that'll just help you pull it all the way back. And you wanna pull this membrane off. Now sometimes butchers and stuff will take it off for you or if uh, you're like Maria and don't wanna to touch it, you can definitely ask them to do that for you. So it's taken off part of it. You see that? All right, so I took the membrane off of the ribs, and now Maria's gonna let us know what we're gonna use for our rub. Ready? Into a bowl, I'm going to add in some brown sugar. Mmm, that's gonna just make it nice and sweet. Paprika, yeah. And, the, and then some paprika. Mm -hmm. And you could actually use a smoked paprika to give it a little bit more smoky flavor, and this is gonna give it a nice, pretty color. That's okay, that's good. And some chili powder. Mm -hmm. Just gonna add a nice little slight heat to it, not very much. Not too much for you, Maria. <laughs> and some garlic powder. Mm-hmm. Cumin. And then next, cumin. And cumin has a really nice smoky flavor, probably one of my favorites. Uh, seasonings out there. It smells so good. And then we're gonna add in some salt. Yep. Yeah. Probably about a teaspoon or so. That's good. That's funny. And then some pepper. So Maria, if you want to go ahead and mix together all of your seasonings that you just put in there, and you might need to poke that brown sugar because we did pack it in there. There you go. Here, maybe even use, let me help you out for a second. You can use the back of the spoon just to kind of, there. Okay, now you can stir it. Stir it all together. Get all those flavors mixed in there. And this is something, if you like just a dry rub, you can go ahead and save a little bit for right at the end. I like to put a little bit of barbecue sauce so on my ribs, so um, I'm not too concerned with saving it, but you definitely can do it. Okay, so that looks perfect, Maria. You know what we need to do now? What? Yes. Did they put something touching that? It does. Oh, come on. <laughs> do we need to rub this on it? Exactly. Oh, okay. All right, so now, we're gonna take our rub mixture and I need you to rub it all over here. Oh, now we just, you 
can do it. It's just like our, we just made pulled pork not too long ago, and she helped me rub it in with that too. And you did great, so go ahead. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Here, how about you just sprinkle and I'll rub. No, I can You can do it. Okay, there you go, that's a trooper. So while Maria finishes putting the rub onto our baby back ribs, I wanna let you know that we uh, soaked some wood chips in some water so they don't start on fire when we put them on the grill. And we do have a gas grill, so I'm gonna show you a little trick for that if you don't have a smoker or like a charcoal grill or something. All right, this is looking great. What we're gonna do after we put all of this on is we're gonna let it just sit at room temperature for 30 minutes just to allow for all those flavors to kind of get into this meat. And then we're gonna take it out on the grill. And you could also marinate this overnight too. So you could do this, put it in the fridge and forget it and then take it out like 30 minutes before you're gonna put it on the grill just to bring it to room temperature and then you can take it out. So, ready? Cool, we gotta get all along these sides too. Very nice, here I'll hold it. So while we're letting our meat kind of marinate, I'm just gonna show you, okay hold on. While we're letting our meat marinate, we're just gonna show you how to pre-package kind of the smoking chips, okay? Now with a charcoal grill and stuff like that, you just throw the chips in there and they kind of smoke. But with a gas grill, which is what we have, we have to do kind of something a little bit different. So we have some aluminum foil. I have some chips that have been smoking, or have been soaking in water. And Maria, I want you just to kind of take it up, let the water drain just a bit, and put it right in the middle. And I use just a couple handfuls of this, and we're using a um, Jack Daniels uh, chips today, but you can use a hickory or cherry, or there's a whole bunch of different flavors. I just kind of like this flavor, it's kind of fun. And then we have a barbecue sauce that's a Jack Daniels sauce too. So, awesome, you're doing great. So we'll do all of these, okay? Awesome, Maria, thank you so much. So now what we need to do is we need to kind of cover this up. So we're gonna just fold, okay, like that. And then fold in that side all the way over. There you go. And then we're just gonna fold in this side. Kind of like we're wrapping wood chips. And fold in that side. We're like we're wrapping a hamburger like we're delivering it to someone's house. That's right. Then we're just gonna take a knife and we're just gonna poke a few little holes to allow that smoke to come out. While our ribs are marinating, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with a regular gas grill for smoking our chips. So we have our bag, and all that I'm gonna do is lift up the grate and just place it directly on the heat, uh, the heating racks right there. And then I'll turn it onto a medium high until they start smoking, and then we will turn it to a low for our ribs. So we're ready to put our meat on the grill, but before we do, we just wanted to show you real quick, this is our contraption that we've made. Now there's rib racks that you can buy and stuff like that, but always what we have is a roasting pan. We filled it about a third of the way full with water, just some tap water, and then I've put almost like a cooling rack for cookies <laughs> on top of here, and we're just gonna put our ribs on here. Now number one, this is gonna help because we don't want our ribs to be directly on the heat, and the water is gonna help it stay nice and moist. All right? Okay. Let's head out to the grill, are you ready? smokiness and I love just basting it with a little bit of barbecue right at the end so what do you think mm. comes off the bone but doesn't completely fall off which is exactly what you want so you know what Maria I think if we made these back in South Dakota mm -hmm. we could beat Grandpa Lucan I'm pretty sure <laughs> what do you think mm -hmm. I don't know she's not taking sides <laughs> not with Grandpa right 
<laughs> well, if I challenge you again sometime soon. So, of course, you have to make cornbread when you have ribs. So we made some cornbread too, and we put a little bit of jalapenos in that as well. So. That's it, we're gonna finish eating our ribs. In the meantime, we want you to head to our website, amateurkitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos, and you can even print our recipes as well. And make sure you go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash amateurkitchen, and what do they need to do? Click that little like button. So you can follow us every single day. We're gonna finish these ribs, by the way, the Cooking on Compresca event is coming up really soon, July 21st at 3 p.m. in Watertown, South Dakota at City Park, where Marie and I are going to be on stage cooking all new recipes that we haven't shown you yet. And if you're not in the Watertown area, no worries. Afterwards, we'll be putting those recipes up on our website as well. So, Well, you actually could challenge Grandpa when we go back there for the Cooking on Compresca. I could. I don't know. What do you think, Grandpa? Are you ready? If we do, we'll be sure to, to take some videos so y'all can see it. All right, let's finish eating our ribs. We hope you try this recipe the next time you have ribs because it is amazing. And we'll see you again next time on 